Hey guys, it's me again, coming back with another video review. And today we'll be taking a look at Transformers Masterpiece 19 Smoke Screen. And before we get Smoke Screen, let's take a look at this package. All right, here goes the package for Smoke Screen. They go to the front of the box for Smoke Screen. Here goes the top of the box. Just said Transformers Masterpiece and all the other stuff. Takara Tomy. Here goes the side shot of the box. Uh, just showing the figure in his robot mode and all the other stuff on it. Bunch of uh, writing I can't read. And here goes the car side. So, And he is a Nissan Fair Lady. So, and that's it for the package. But he also comes with a collector's card. So, and... That goes the picture, so. And you got some tech specs back here, what well, stats or whatever. And I don't know what they are, so. And he also comes with his instructions, of course, and some little funny card here that I probably never use because I don't know what the world he's saying on there, so. And that's it for the content of the package, so. Oh, guys, I forgot to show the back of the box, so here's the back of the box with. Smoke green, <laughs> smoke green, uh, smoke screen next to freaking uh, MP10 Optimus Prime. So, and they can show that smoke screen fitness trailer. So, and that's it. So, let's get back to smoke screen. <clears throat> so, guy here goes smoke screen is car mode, and it's a nice car. I think, like, the detail is good I think and I don't know much they can actually add to this car mode for repo labels but overall the paint job is good you know the red it like matches up here compared to like uh high size white wall the red will off here and if all here compared to each other so but this all the same color and it just, I think it's really good. You know, he has smoke tactics on the side. It fits the focus. Yep. Car 38, and that's on this there, and got some more stuff. What, slot fever? Huck. Huck. <laughs> and got some smoke tactics on the uh, windshield up here. So, yeah, this is a nice car mode, I think. And the bottom, you just see his hand, pretty much. And really ain't no robot jump, so. And they got a tailpipe back there, you know. So I really think they did good on this masterpiece, you know. I know I didn't get the other guys or I reviewed them, but. I'm thinking about I might end up getting the other guys eventually, but. I can just tell by looking at this one. He already going to be my favorite, so. But yeah, I think that's enough for the car mode, so. Let's just do a couple size comparison in any vehicle mode, so. We'll bring MPTN out, of course. And let's see who we have. We got size white right here. And it was size white. You know, they about the same. Size white was a little thicker, but about the same size. Wear the fair lady a little bit longer. But yeah, you know. Yeah, all the guys are a good scale out there, you know. So, but yeah, uh, let's just hop into his transformation. So, oh yeah, I forgot uh, he comes with a weapon that can like go into vehicle mode. So, the gun goes up here, it's a little tab where we have to flip around. It's just hard to get to sometimes because this, this figure is so tight. And now I can't get my hand in there to freaking get that peg out, but it pretty much flips around. And the thing is so tight. So I'll, I'll be right back with you guys. So, All right, guys, I just flipped the little piece up off camera because it's so difficult to pull up. And I scratched the freaking paint there while I was doing it. So, oh, yeah, speaking of the paint job, I don't really have any little blemishes. So. I have a really, really small one there. It probably won't be able to pick up on camera, but it's one right there, so. 
But it's sick with the pink blemish for mine, so. At least I found it so far. But anyway. But yeah, the little pad come out right here. And you flip the gun handle. This is for the robot mode, but you flip it up right here. And it will incorporate into the car mode. So you just plug it in back here. All right, and these pieces, they plug into the top of the hood right here. So, and the little hook thing, which you can see it, it just goes in there. So, if I got the right one in, and if, if it's gonna go. Well, let's try this side, so. You don't wanna go. All right, guys, be back with you in a minute. All right, guys, here go uh, smoke scream all freaking armored up, and it looked kind of redonkulous, but, and big gun just sticking up the top, but I guess they're him as, I guess they'll be him as uh, armored up, so. But anyway, let's take all this stuff off, so, and just jump into the transformation for smoke screen, so. All right, uh, we're going to start out back here. Just gonna unpeg it back here, you know, so. Um, let's see, yeah. That discretion first start off by pulling his this down right here. That become his arms. Ain't just fold them out like that. Ain't just leave them there for now, so. Uh, let's see, we'll push the little, well, let's, let's flip the doors out. So, the door just flip out. Okay, and this part right here, up in the hood right here, we just push it up with our thumb, or finger, whatever. So it just should pop out right there. And we just uh pull this up, and we'll flip this down. We'll fold this head up. So. And we'll fold these pieces down right here. And these uh, rear view mirrors are rubber, so. And just fold up in here. Up into these little grooves, this will fold up in there, so. And I guess the how it go, but mine seem not to go all the way in there. But I just leave it right there. Same on this side, so. And just sit there and we can fold this down the hood well yeah the hood well let's try to get these up up and over so so then don't get caught up so well we'll flip this piece up so and we'll flip these up as well <laughs> it go there you go oh we can just like coordinate it down right here give it a little space so it can just squeeze up in there and same on this side yeah um let's see what else and we just it could be a pad for this it's kind of dark on your chest it's so it's probably hard to see but this piece of here will go up in there. So, it take a little doing, a little force. So, and we just push it down like that. So, and that's the top part. His chest fold in. So we fold these doors up, and we fold these up, and we just come back to these later. So, and uh, so let's do the. Oh, we can just like fold this in. Fold that up, and it should just these hooks or where you are right here. This right here, hard to see because it's clear, so and it will go up in here. Same on that side, so all right, and we'll come back to the arms later. So, so now we just unpack it 
back part of the car right here. And these are kind of be lead, so. They got really, all the pieces pretty tight, so. Kind of hard to get to some stuff. Well, to like unpack it or whatever. And this don't want to come out at the time. But that one comes up, and this one should come up, but I might use like a little sun to get in there because I have no fingernails. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, that comes up. Uh, let's see. We can fold this around. Let's just do one leg at a time. So we'll fold this up, and this should like give space for this to accord it out. So we're gonna grab right here by holding, and we're gonna be holding this at the same time, and we're gonna pull this part here. And it kind of take a little doing to do. So, but make sure that part right here is out. So, there you go. And it uh, accordions down, and you can like extend this, and one of his his legs will pop out. So, and we just uh. And it's a little blue piece and you can flip it up and we can fold this back in and we fold the window down right here and that's one of his foot well feet <laughs> uh, same on this side so let's like say a little tough to do sometimes that part. I think I, oh, I thought some paint scratched out there. They probably the last time I transformed the guy, so he's gonna stay like this. And I don't know what's going on here, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got that part out, so we just gonna finish corner his leg out oh we just fold his leg out now and we're gonna stand this down yeah I'm losing paint on this suck every time I try to change him so they probably it oh uh, then we fold this around fold that down so hope y'all got caught that <laughs> Uh, oh, we can just like fold these in some more. If it goes. Okay, there you go. Let me just fold that one in some more. Okay. And we'll rotate his waist. Yeah, see, I'm losing paint. Cause I got a little red spot there. You can't be able to see it on the camera, but. I'm losing paint every time I change this figure. Look at the lead there. I'm losing paint, dude. I don't know what's going on there. Oh my god. Whatever. Okay, uh. Let me just fold his arms around. Like that. Same on this side. And it goes smoke screen. In this robot mode, so yeah, he looked nice, you know. I think, and he's very colorful. But last, like I'm losing paint here when I change him. So, like, look at the lead there. I don't know what really happened there. So, just gotta be careful when you change it, guy. If you want to maintain this good paint job, so. And uh, for his articulation, his head ro rotates. It can look up about that far. And go to your head scope, you know. That's definitely smoke screen if it freaking focuses. Well, focuses, not focus. <laughs> if it focus. Yeah, see, it go to the head for smoke screen, you know. So, let's see, head rotate looks up. All his arms, 360 degree. With the session, the door getting in the way. It ought to come up this far. That, well, that's good, but yeah. Um, he got a waist joint, of course, from the, from the transformation. 
His legs go out that far, that far back. There. Rotates there. Bends at the knee. He kind of double, uh, double knee joint. Part of the transformation. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say elbow joint. And that uh, double elbow joint. Wrist articulation. And his hands open, so. Um, and with his ankle, he get a lot, a lot of it right here. It goes out like that, and let's say part of transformation too. So, but yeah, smoke screen, yeah, nice. But uh, I had his weapons on, so and. This one goes over here. Just peg on the blue thing and go forward there. Same over here. All right. And for some reason, my gun don't want to plug into his hand. It plug into his left hand, but not his right hand. So, and. If it goes, it don't want to stay in there. And I just close the hand up. It just stay there, but okay. And they go smoke screen, so let's bring out some size comparison. So, all right, here go a couple of size comparisons with smoke screen. So we can see that smoke screen and side squats. I can't get, I can't say side sway or what today. But uh, he go uh, smooth screen and side swipe standing next to each other. So, and they about the same height. So, and I could say that smoke, not smoke screen, but side swipe, maybe a hair taller. And he goes uh, smoke screen with MP10. So, yeah, I think these guys stand good with each other. So. But overall, guys, I think uh, Smoke Screen is a great figure. He's very, he got a really nice paint job. Um, mine is the paint I already trying to flake off of my figure, so I hope that it don't end up being a major problem. So, but uh, overall, yeah, he's good. So, and like I said, I might end up getting the other two guys, but I just did Smoke Screen. Yeah, I did him in the cartoon, so. But yeah, uh, I just say get it, so. But uh, guys, I think they'll be all today, so. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to doing it next time. <laughs>